Marine still smells like shit, even outside the walls. We'll find Croft here, somewhere. You all right? Never better. <laughs> Back under the Mad King, they used to say death by sword was a sweet kiss. But fire would fuck you hard. Funny. No. No, not very. I'll go find Croft's tent. I mean, it's like the hottest fire you could Asher, get burnt by, right? It's dragon's fire. I need fire. you to tell me the truth. I've come a long way to bring you home. Back in that cave, you made a choice. You must have thought only one of us was going to survive. Now, it's not a fair question to ask, but I need to know. I've fought beside you, Uncle, too many times to count. I figured you could handle yourself. Beska was the one face to face with a dragon. Yeah, that's true. I appreciate the respect, but it's not about that. Look, I can't blame you if your feelings about me are conflicted. Or your feelings about going home. Your family exiled you to this place. But I swore an oath to your mother. Sailed halfway around the world to bring you back safe. And I'll be damned if some dragon fire or your foul decisions are going to stop me. Are we clear? I'm here to help you. To protect you. I understand and I know what's important. My family comes first. That's good to hear. But words are wind, Asher. It's choices that define who we are. Asher, I know where Croft is. This Croft, how well do you know him? Too, Too well. well. I thought you said you were friends. Yeah, we are. We are. Great friends. Asher fucking Forrester. <laughs> Good friends, eh? poxy whore. You have some balls walking into my tent after all these years with that mama's monkey grin on your face. <laughs> and what happened to his eye? Was that my fault? Well, that went well. All right, maybe I deserve that. That's not even a taste of what you deserve. You never understood consequences, Asher. One stupid mistake cost me an eye. Yep, it was me. <laughs> but you never learn. You figured you'd steal from me and I'd just forgive you. <laughs> not a fucking chance. <laughs> Best friends here. So how are you going to pay me back? Your eye? Your hand? Or how about your tongue? Cough, no! Be reasonable! I am reasonable! I'm letting him fucking choose! My hair. My hair could use a trim. Take some off the top, would you? Do not fucking test me! Croft, I deserve your anger as much as Asha. Don't worry, Beska. You're next. Now choose, or I slice off your balls, Asha. Oh, no, not that. Hey, a hey, man hey! betrays my trust. There's a Stop price this. to be Let paid. him go! Enough! No more fucking about! You fucking bastard. Take my eye, then. I don't need two to kill you. Is he really gonna do it? <laughs> I don't want to lose my hand. Oh, that was Forget bloody that. beautiful. Fucking Asher. You were pale as a oh. snow bear's ass. Oh. <laughs> are, you, are you fucking joking? <laughs> you bloody bastard. <laughs> this is why people steal your shit and take off in the night. Come on, you assholes. Have a drink. <laughs> Joden, the Khaleesi's best wine. Your friend has an interesting sense of humor. Yeah, so that's what for in sure. seven hours are you two doing here on the arse end of the earth, eh? So did we really You're a long way from lose his eye. We I have it was a proposition fault. for you. We? You're hardly the usual rabble these two travel with. Your sword was always the quickest to Croft. I need you and your men to fight for me in Westeros. We need your hellhounds. A hundred good men. Am I in a hobby's tip? Would I ever go back to Westeros? I've got it good right here. Her grace pays good coin. I've got wine! Women! We can pay. I always knew your pockets were lined with gold. And I will happily take it from you. But it's not up to me. The second sons are sworn I mean, to Daenerys Targaryen. I've laid my sword at her feet. For now. 
Are we gonna meet her Perhaps this time? Perhaps we could talk to her. She's a little busy right now. Commanding I don't a think we've seen her yet in uh, these enemies episodes. enemies are nailing children up on posts for a hundred miles, and a bloody dragon's gone missing. <laughs> but I know where to find her dragon. <laughs> Unfucking likely. You expect me to believe you've just happened to have seen the one fucking dragon loose in the world? Black scales all over with a red frill running down his back. That doesn't prove anything. Enough of this nonsense. We're done here, Asher. Uh, yeah, sure. You two back in my life. Um, Spinning I'll show him the tooth, actually, actually, because the burns can be from This is head. all I need. <laughs> I've got proof, you old fuck. Tell me what this is, if not a bloody dragon tooth. <sighs> I wouldn't know a dragon tooth from a basilisk dick. <laughs> Croft, I've seen her dragon. You probably uh, would have said the same thing about the bird, though. Oh, bugger me with a bloody spear. If you're lying about this... <laughs> Fair enough. Come on, you son of a bitch. The beast's name is Drogon. She'll want to hear about him right away. Oh, I guess we are going to see And her. don't cool. think you're going to charm her with that fucking Asher grin. <laughs> and I smile anyway. Oh, back to the wall. Big day tomorrow, isn't it? Off to Craster's Keep. Assuming you're not too busy looking for your North Grove. I thought you didn't believe in it. Not saying I do. But if it was real, can you trust Cotter with it? You uh, ask me. There's just something off about him. Should I tell him what Aside it is? Aside from being an oily thief, I mean. Uh... Like he's holding something back. Cotter's not a bad sort. I trust him. Even after you tried stealing your map. Do as you like. But if we're going out there tomorrow, in the middle of fucking nowhere, I'd want to know who I can trust. Finn, get back on watch until your relief arrives. They're late. You think Mance Raider is going to wait for them? Right. Asshole. <laughs> and Tuttle, you've got torches that have gone out. Keep them lit. Let the wildlings know we're still home. Alright. Gotta light some torches. Yeah, this one's still good. Obviously. Uncle Duncan brought these from Ironrath. Wonder if I'll ever see it again. What can I do with it? Pick it up? That's ironwood for sure. I don't know, he'd probably uh, tell somebody about it. If anyone tries coming over the wall, or confront him about it. Well, they'd probably like, start stop fighting them. or something. Uh, did I miss one? Man could freeze to death up here. Hey, can I go this way? Oh yeah. Oh, I missed one again too. Back behind me. I wonder if I get something for letting them all. This must hold up the lift. Probably fall apart if it wasn't frozen together. Solid ice. This won't be melting anytime soon.
Who's this? Pig farmer. Oh, of course. A 300 mile wall. And you're still in my way. I figured we'd settle things on the way to Crasters. But this is even better. I don't have any time for you anymore, Brett. I hate you. You hate me. Now let's move on. Had something more painful in mind. Uh, he's gonna attack me. I did duty to my lord back on that bloody farm. And for doing a proper job of it, what I get? Banished to the fucking wall! I never did tell you about your father, did I? Uh oh. He's gonna antagonize you better me. Than first. Like a pig. Seemed only fair he should feel what it's like. Near the end, he could barely breathe. Kept begging us to leave your sister alone. So I made sure he was still alive when she started screaming. It was the last thing your father ever heard. The more we sliced, the worse it got. Shrieking the whole time. Her crying out. God. You're not worth it. I didn't come here to chat, you fucking cunt. <laughs> All right. Well, he attacked me first. So too bad your father didn't fight like Let's that. Let's kill him now. Might still I be alive. I tried to show a little restraint, but and I thought you were going to make this easy. All right, you're gonna pay. You're going to die for what you did. All right. John no Snow holding back can't now. Hold your hand now. <sighs> Let's see if you scream like your. <sighs> I think there's another audio glitch here because I only hear their voices. I don't hear like the sounds of the swords and stuff. <sighs> Oh, here's the choice now. You got lucky, pig farmer. You're going to slaughter me. Like my man back at your farm. At least let me have my sword. Keep it interesting. Or are you afraid? Take your sword. When you die, you'll know you weren't good enough. So noble, you fucking cunt. I'll beat him like a man, I guess. Even though he doesn't deserve it. Oh, oh there it goes again. Slice his stomach. Oh, he's gonna fall off the side, I bet. <laughs> yeah, let's kick him off the side. No one will ever know what happened to him. At the hands of a fucking forester. There'll be blood here, though, I guess. Just fucking finish it. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> yeah, let's kick him off. Don't piss yourself on the way down. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's what he deserves. Throw the sword off, too. be in trouble but <laughs> whatever he deserved it <laughs> yeah really I was thinking that too <laughs> this is Sparta like I said I want to kill everybody <laughs> I don't care what happens my lord our people are starving and afraid the white hills have driven like them the away from the ironwood groves a little weird out of the way yeah there it is. Like, when they were talking, I couldn't hear the rain. I just heard it quickly there. And so they come to us. Yeah, there's problems with this episode a food little Food we don't have to spare. How can we support an army and retain our position in the north? We can't even feed the people we see before us. It's like the dead of winter's come. And it doesn't look like it's getting better. 
No one has more fight in them than Asher. I'm sure he and Malcolm will find us the army we need. Well, I hope we can figure something out. As long as the White Hills are in our house, we have to be careful. Come on, you! Let me go! Oh, no. You can't do this! Good. Mm. You're here. Look. Mm. Look at this! Did you see she what this him. girl Ow. did? She attacked my man like an animal. Bloody bit me. Yeah, now it's her turn. She's gonna get what she has coming to her. This won't go unpunished. Let go of me. I don't care if she's your sister. Fine. You brought her to me. I'll deal with her. That's not for you to decide. I saw him stealing from our kitchen. Him to stop. He laid his hands on me, so I bit him. Bloody wench. I was only doing what had to be done. I warned you not to mistreat my men. Someone will have to answer for this. Do you hear me? Don't make this ugly. Um... We've done enough for you. You can't push us any further. I can push you as much as I like. And if your people <laughs> don't of those see choices that, were they like need to learn their place. This girl is out of control. Don't listen to him, Roderick. And if you can't rein her in... Yeah, what about the rest of them? It's about time she saw a real lord again and learned proper discipline. Are you afraid of a young girl with all the armed soldiers you what? are? What? I'm not afraid! I, I want order! But this house is in a shambles. And the problem starts at the top, Roderick. Careful, boy. You yourself had the gall to strike one of my men. And that's the real problem with you foresters. You're too fucking proud. Always have been. It was bad enough when you were above us. And now it's even worse. Because you don't see how far you've fallen! Still high enough to look down at you. Wait. Forgive her. Forgive her. The passions of youth. No one questions your authority, Griff. You have the power. Yeah, I guess that's what we have to say to him. Oh, I like him. You thought this was your man, Roderick? He's mine. A dog to be sure, but my dog. That's how I like to see you, Foresters. Obedient servants, eager to please uh, your master. He's a loyal member of my house. A man of peace. And he deserves to be treated as such. You don't get it, do you? <laughs> you foresters need to dead. learn when you're beaten. That would be too much. <sighs> you will learn some fucking humility. Oh, this won't be the last lesson I teach you, foresters! Have you no honor? I'll run you through for that. I'll cut you down like straw men. Stand down, Royland. As you wish. I bet this makes you angry, eh? You probably want to get up and hit me. But we know how that would go, don't we? Now, are you going to be a good little forester, learn your lesson, and stay down? Roderick! I'm getting up. I will not yield. You. Bloody snot! Why don't you fucking get it? Get up, Roderick! Stay down, my lord! <laughs> Your brother Ethan didn't know his place either. I'm gonna Rams keep getting up. Snow taught him good. Talia here will meet the same end. Unless you're a good little forester, you learn your place. And stay down. Some forester is going to learn their lesson today. You don't have to do that, Lord Griff. Will it be you? Or will it be... Her? Well, I guess I'll stay dead. I don't want to kill the sister. Consider this evening, girl. Your brother learned the lesson for you. 
You'd be wise to follow his lead. It's kind of what I have to do. As would all of you. I wanted to stand up, Your but Lord then he'll just kill somebody. Man. First in his line that understands. Now you need to understand too. You can be Lord, Roderick. So long as we all know who holds the reins here. Come on. You did the right thing, my son. You had to submit. Aye. A true lord. So I wonder who's the traitor here. But we... We let them win. I wonder if he really would have killed her if I stood up again. I don't know. Well, that's what I had to do. I stood up once. I guess that's uh, good enough. <laughs> I did some defiant things too, like I hit his guy with the cup and stuff. So I guess we can't push it too far. We push it right to the edge there and we hold back, I guess. They have no hope. Do you see that? But what if he killed her? Then that would have been even worse, probably. He still acts like he rules the house. But he's let his guard down. So, did he get what he wanted? Or did you? At the time, I... I wanted you to crush him. I'm just glad you're still alive. He thinks he's won. That he and his men have gone soft now. They won't be ready when we do strike back. It's a smart thing to do, better, I guess. Things will be different. Hopefully, we could get that deal with his, um, with the sister. I asked Gwen. Ethan not to change Hopefully who he was. Hopefully, we could get the army from uh, my brother. I tried to make him promise me. I now know that was childish of me. I'm ready to change now. I'm willing to do anything to help our family. I mean it, Roderick. I don't care what. I am too. Father used to say we foresters are as tough as the ironwood. Yeah, I don't want to know. We are. All of us. And I'm sure the others will do whatever it takes as well. What you did, yielding to Griff, you had your reasons. But... No one can know the future. Whatever tomorrow brings, Talia, the foresters will stand tall. I did it. Back here. I can't believe it. <laughs> we stole the letter. Oh no. What's gonna happen now? Uh oh, I can choose to burn it. For? No, I gotta keep it, right? Cause that guy will help me if I keep it. I can't. What? After everything we just I can't burn it. Your grace. Right? Because then we need that the letter um, for you now. the deal with that guy. So, Asher Forrester, if you presume to speak of my dragons, oh, there she is. choose your words carefully. Oh. Next time on Game of Thrones. I don't know. Should I have burnt it? But like, I thought I what stole it for a reason. Garrett, Frostfinger is calling for your head. Oh, well, we'll see what happens. Tell me, Mira, what are you doing? Mira, just tell me what's going on. What are you hiding from me? We are weak. We have no allies. And Griff claims to be the new Lord of Ironwrath. There's been a raven from Lord Whitehill. He's invited us to High Point. That guy might Dragon be the traitor. wouldn't have attacked without reason. Oh, we saw her for a second. We didn't get to speak with her yet. Fuck you and your queen. Deal with your friend. Nothing ever stays in the past, Asher. Carried. It's time to go. All right, <laughs> so here are my choices here. Looks like I was in <laughs> the uh, majority of them, except the uh, third one. So I saved uh, Beksha, 
Well, actually, no, I wasn't in the majority of that one, but it was almost half and half. So I guess most people saved the uncle. Uh, I defied Marjorie and spoke to Tyrion. That's what most people do, but it was about half and half. This one was a big uh, <laughs> split. So I guess most people actually spared that guy instead of killing him. Like, they showed her, showed her straight. Or, well, it says a quick death, so I guess either you could have spared him, you could have tortured him, or you could have gave him a quick death. But that's what I did. I wanted to kick him off the wall, so that was pretty cool. Um, so most people submitted to him. Almost 70%, because I guess, you know, I did it because it looked like he was going to kill the sister. I didn't want that to happen. I wanted to stand strong, but not too much. And then most people kept the thing, because I kept it too, because um, that guy who offered me help, like the Lord, wasn't he like, oh, I need that letter to uh, help you. So why would I burn it after I went through all the trouble of uh, stealing it? I don't know. All right, so there we go, episode three. Hope you guys enjoyed watching uh, Game of Thrones, and... Uh, be sure to stay tuned for more when the uh, future episodes come out. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later.